What is up everybody? Main Fly Guys here today gonna tie a classic. Um, and we're gonna start out, this is main hair. I actually um, got this rabbit earlier this fall and this is a great way to use the entire rabbit preserving the skin. And you can tie great flies um, like this one. So I'm just gonna come right in from the back of the of the rabbit and you get fibers that look like this. And so what I'm gonna do is pull out all the fuzzies, pull out all the fibers that are too long or too short, whittle it down to make quite a nice bushy looking tail. So you see that bushy, that bushy looking tail. So I want it to be about the length of the body, maybe just a touch shorter. Maybe just a touch shorter. Check that out. That looks great. We see that nice bushy tail. And then I'll come forward and I'm going to clip these fibers right off where I want the body to um, actually stop. Okay. And then I'll work my way back. Before I get to the very end, I'm going to be using a gold wire matching the bead here. This is BR, I think is the size. Um, medium. I like to use a, a little thicker gauge because I like it to show up a little bit. All right. Now, for the body, what I do is I come in. This is the undercoat of that same rabbit. So you see how it's a little fluffier? Just the material is a little fluffier. What I do is basically put that in my finger a few times and just sort of shred it up. I'll shred it up. And you can do that with many colors um, on, this, on this cape. So when you pull the fluffy stuff out, you have really two colors, a gray and a tan. This is for a fall rabbit. Obviously, if you have a white rabbit, that doesn't apply. So you can cut the gray out if you want this pattern to be more tan, or you can keep the gray in there and make kind of a an interesting mix. Um, so I'm going to kind of do an interesting mix of both. Okay, so I have got my mix, and Rabbit is pretty slick. So I like to wax my thread up, and we are going to make that body. We would like it to be tapered so here you can see that body it's a nice gray tan it's it's a nice mix I, I really like the mix that's my favorite and I will go forward I would say always start with less dubbing because you can always um, add more. It's really difficult to take this stuff off. So here, that's where I want my body ten. I'll go back, kind of make it, um, make it tapered. You can make tapered body before if you want, but I kind of like doing it with the dubbing. Okay, so there's my body, and as you can tell, it's a little bit tapered. It's a little thin at the back. So I'm going to come in and try to do four or five wraps with the gold thread, even spacing. Do your best. There's three wraps. There's four wraps and uh, I don't think I'm going to get the fifth one in there. All right, so now that's done. This rabbit little fact about the rabbit. This rabbit was taken uh, in Rangeley, Maine with my good buddy Aaron, Rangeley Fly Guide. Hit him up if you haven't for a guided trip. Best in the business. Okay, so what I've done next now is I am gonna lay down some deer hair. So, this is from an old buck from Maine. 
And I basically am going to lay it this way, points facing backwards. I'm gonna flip it forward and then parse the tips out as sort of, um, you know, side wings. So that's gonna do two things. One, this is gonna become a, these are not very, it's gonna become a um, shell and it's gonna make wings. All right, so what I want is when my wings get folded back, I want them to go about halfway down the body. So what I do is I try to measure it up and say, here's the gap that's gonna be my little bubble. I basically want these tips to be extended one gap past where that gap ends. So I, I kind of go by bead. So like there's one bead I've sort of measured it out. There's one bead. I want to go one bead past. So right about there, looks decent. Then I'm gonna trap these fibers in. That's that. Uh, maybe just a touch. Maybe just a touch longer. That, that looks good. There we go. Okay, and then I'll secure these fibers down, all the working all the way back to that gap. All right, that looks pretty good. They should flare up and everything. If you're getting really picky, um, you don't want to use the fibers that flare up too much because if you do that, I'll lower this for you to see. Because if you do that then your wings will flare tremendously. And it doesn't look great. Um, it looks kind of funky, so. But that's getting real specific. All right, so I've tied in my hair and cinched it down nice and tight all the way back to where I left off. And I'm just gonna clean up the front here. Make sure your bead is I'm not catching on any thread or anything, so that looks pretty good. You can give your bead a spin, sort of uncatch it on anything. Um, okay, this looks pretty good. Great. You want to give a little space in between that bead and your thread, but not too much because you don't want a big gap when you go to tie this forward. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to come back with my kind of mixture, my fluffy mixture. Um, this is where you can, you know, you can put in a different color or a hot spot or do all kinds of crazy things here. But I'm just going to continue with the original color. Okay. Now we're going to pull all our deer hair fibers forward. All right. Pull them forward. I like to hold them down with my thumb my my pointer finger and my thumb and I'm just gonna come over the top two times two times catch it and you see we have that nice look at that that nice casing there now I'll come back sort of push push these fibers back and try and catch them on either side you have to sort of split them Kind of split them. Try to do it evenly. That looks not too bad. Okay. Uh, how's that? And you can take your time with this part because this is really your last step. And then we'll come out front. and really try to pinch them back. Oops. <clears throat> if you want, you can sort of go figurating them. That will kind of keep them in place. Okay. So there we now have our wings there. We'll split them even better in a second. Um, our nice wings there. 
And what I do is there are some hairs that are really small and they're kind of stuck in the middle. So I will just come and pluck them right out. Um, okay. Let's make sure that this is in there nice and secure. Good. Once you feel like that's in there nice and secure. Boom. Do a little whip finish. Great. Nice and secure. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is come in and just do a bit of cleanup on the top here just to remove any of those sort of fibers that aren't falling the way that I want them to fall. So before I do this, I have my UV, this is RAID, and then I also have a bodkin so I can really, really control where this UV gel is going. And I'm just going to put a dollop right on the top. Do a dollop right on the top, that way I can really control how much is going into the sides or how much is sticking to the wings or, you know. So that was just original Raid, I, I like it, it's really strong. Um, the Thin is also great. Alright, so let's get some, uh, I guess, some more. That looks just fine to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these wings in position and just zap it really, really quick. And that will be enough to really hold them. Good. Once you have really solidified it in there, I like to build up a little more. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Build up a little bubble there. Ah. And you see that bubble we got going on. That's actually not too bad. We're just going to hit it anyways. And that's really it. And that's done. So um, Anyway, so here's our finished product. Um, looks great. You can brush it out to make it really buggy. But it's, you know, it's a staple in many, many boxes. And I like it. You can use a bunch of different things for the wings. You don't have to use deer hair because it's kind of finicky. You can use something else, but I don't know. I just kind of like the look of it. And I've had good success on it. So um, that's a quick and dirty hair's ear variant that I like a lot more than the traditional one. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, check out our new podcast in the film. We're coming out with season two. Season one was such a success, so we're coming out with season two. Be on the lookout for that. If you have any requests for us to uh, tie some flies that you want, um, feel free to, to reach out. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.